Hello, in this video, let's figure out what the elasticity is off of two different curves graphically from two different points to another. Okay, so I've got price per hot dog, quantities of hot dogs. I want to know what the elasticity is going from A to B and from A to C. These are on two different demand curves. So the formula for price elasticity of demand is the percent change, let's do that as percent, percent change quantity demanded divided by percent change in price. So let's go A to B, so price elasticity of demand from A to B the percent change formula usually we're going to use what's called the midpoint method so what that is is it doesn't matter whether you're going from a to b it's the new or b to c value uh, minus the old divided by the midpoint times 100. Midpoint, if you want to be really technical about it, is new, it's really just the average, plus old divided by two. That'll give you the midpoint. Okay. Most economics problems at uh, principles level class are just going to be halfway in between, so it's really easy. Okay, so I'm going to just write it out uh, right like that. So quantity, if we're going from A to B, our new quantity is 50, so it's 50 minus 30, that's the old value, divided by the midpoint, halfway in between of those is 40. Now this is multiplied by 100 to get the percent, that's the change in quantity demanded. We'll divide that by the price, which is also times 100. And this one is eight, or sorry, um, price going from three to two. Okay, so our new price is two, old price is three, and then halfway in between those is 2.5. We're gonna multiply that by 100. Now, the multiplying by 100 just turns it into a percent, so as long as I'm being consistent, I can actually knock out both of those and it makes it a little easier. So. Uh, 50 over 40, or sorry, 50 minus 30 over 40 is just 20 over 40. So that's 50% or 0 0.5, either one doesn't matter. And then this is one over two and a half. So I'm gonna, one over 2.5, which is 0.4. So 0.4, so you just get uh, 0.5 over, over 0.4, or you could just say 5 over 4, which is just 1.25. So 1.25 is the per first price elasticity of demand. That's going from A to B. Okay, if you use the midpoint method, it doesn't matter whether you're going from B to A or A to B. Now, technically, this is negative, but most um, elasticities are reported in absolute numbers. So if you're not doing it, in absolutes, this would have been negative, and then that would have been negative 1.25, okay? Let's do the other one, price elasticity of demand going from A to C. Now, this one, we're also, the price change is the same. So I can just divide by 0.4 right here. And I need to, this time going from 30 to 40. So it's 40 minus 30 divided by halfway there is 35 okay so what is that it's 10 over 35 so 10 over 35 is 0.28 so 0.28 or 28 percent divided by 0.4 which is four percent and eight, four. And I get um, 0.7, so 0, 0, 
seven, and if I'm reporting this in not an absolute, it's a negative uh, 0.7. Okay, so now I can look at the two and see that this number is above one, so this a to b is relatively elastic, and a to c is less than one, it's 0.7, so it's relatively inelastic. That's how to solve two different elasticities off of the same graph.